In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the cloth effects within the game engine. So cloth is pretty cool in here as well. Unlike uh, Blender Render, you set uh, vertex groups, but in here you set rigid body joints. So let's see what the simulation looks like. I've actually had this run in, so it's pretty powerful. So I have a couple keys set up on the keyboard to move the cloth around, and it's set to be transparent, and it's fast, and it's powerful in here. So for doing game effects, it's really nice. And I've tried to take this same animation and move it over into cycles, but I don't actually like the results as much within the, in there. In here, I, you know, you have nice shadows also, and so everything has a purpose. The only thing different about the game engine now is that you know there's work being done to integrate the bullet physics within Blender Render, which would be a nice feature at some point in time. But in, for the time being, you can switch back and forth between the two, and you know they both have their advantages. So let's see what the actual setup looks like on this thing. It's just th this cloth. Let me have to get the menu back up here keep the display clean. So there you see it right there. It's basically a single object. It's a couple of things. It's actually soft body physics set up within here. So it's not a cloth and it's rigid body joints. So let's go look at the rigid body joint panel. Let me see over in here. This chain link panel. Not, and you'll see that I have associated with this object to have one two, three, four, five hinges here. So that basically is like pinning it within uh, Blender Render. So that would be like a vertex group set to one at each one of those locations. And if you're not familiar with the rigid body joints, basically those are, uh, you, you set a rigid body joint, you click the display pivot. If I turn that off, you can see that display pivot goes away. And notice what it's set, it's set at X and Y of 1, so uh, if I put these back down to 0, you'll see the pivot goes back towards the center, like that. There's the corner of the pivot, so that's where it would pivot around on a hinge, like that. So you just set it to the location where you want it pinned, basically, and like that. And then once it's pinned, like that, then all the rest is just free to float. And then from there, I was able to go into the physics itself. Let's see. And set it to soft body. All right, these guys are just set to dynamic, so they kind of slide around on the ground plane. But this now has soft body effects associated with it. And you, you have to, well, just you can just use these settings right here, right? And that'll that'll help a lot because it took a while to kind of get it, to tweak it to get it to work just right but you can see it works quite nicely and um, yeah and it's fast right I don't see yeah nice transparency the whole nine yards there is a little bit of an issue right in here that I always like to try and test the extreme cases where you know it'll break through see it'll stick right through on that point just a little bit but overall in general yeah it works great so you know, for certain applications, yeah, the game engine you can use for lots of cool effects. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.